Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to watermark your reels. So you're a content creator on Instagram and you've been using Instagram's new feature, Reels, a lot recently, creating a lot of content and it's gaining a bit of traction and a lot of people are now stealing your content and sharing it on their own pages. And the worst part is, is that some of these pages aren't giving credit. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a watermark to your Instagram Reels to avoid people stealing your content. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, so you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's going to be in the description down below. Once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do have an account, we're just going to go ahead and click on the new project button in the top left. Now we're in Veed's video editor, and this is where we want to upload our Instagram Reel video. So if I click on upload video, I'm then going to select the clip that I want to post to Instagram Reels and click on open. And as we can see, it's now being imported into Veed's video editor. And in the top right, we can see the upload percentage. And now that our video is here, as you can see, if I click play hey instagram reels alec here and i'm just making this video today perfect so this is my instagram reel so to add a watermark it's very simple and we can do this in a couple of ways you can either add an image or you can add text and what we're going to do in this video is actually add some text a good way to do it is to actually add your instagram username that way if someone reposts your content they won't be able to remove your username that is embedded in the actual video that way when users come across your content on a different meme page that didn't give you credit they can still find your content by searching your instagram username because you put that as a watermark on the video so to do this we're just going to hover over to the text tab on the left and if we select the text tab as you can see we're now in the text editor and we can click on add new text now my instagram username is at acw so what i could do is just add this and then place it anywhere I want. And this is essentially a watermark. Now, obviously there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can change the styling, the line height, the text, the color, everything you want. And what I might actually do is make mine a bit smaller because I don't want it to be super obvious. So I might make it down to 30. And now what I might do is potentially just move this around so I could put it down here. So as you can see, if I click play now, Thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving. Now, you might not want your watermark to appear throughout the entire video, or you might not want it to always be in the same place throughout the video. So we can change this. We can either change the duration. For example, if you only want the watermark, let's say for the first half or for the middle bit, the most important part of your content, we could place it just by clicking and dragging the text. So as we can see, it's no longer visible when I'm here, but when we're over here, as you can see, it's visible. So if I click play. So thank you for all the support that you guys have. Been now let's say that you want to display it in different areas because at one point you have something important that will appear in the bottom right. So you no longer want it in the bottom right, but you want it in the bottom right at the beginning. So what we're gonna do is let's just say, click and drag this here. And now what I can do is actually, if I select this and place my playhead, I can split the text. So now, as you can see, I have two different text watermarks. And what I'm gonna do with this one is just click and drag it. Let's just say place it up here. So now I can just click and drag this over to about here. And if I click play. Yeah, and I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me on my YouTube channel recently. As you can see, my watermark moves and it doesn't last throughout the entire video. I can also change the color. So to do this, I could just select the text again and now I might turn this into green for an example however that doesn't stand out very well so we're going to change that back but we could make it yellow i kind of like the look of that and then we need to change the color for the next one so i just select it again and let's just say we want the watermark red as you can see we can do that and then once you've added your watermark to your instagram reel all you have to do is click on the export button in the top right and then veed starts to render your instagram reel with its new watermark and then you can download it straight to your computer and that is how to add a watermark to your instagram reels if you have any questions i would love to hear them in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to hit that subscribe button we really appreciate it and with that being said we'll see you in the next video